Yo, yo, this is DJ Jazzy Kraut coming to you, man. We're going to rock us some quiz to help here because one of my favorite students, Mr. Claudio Rivera, asked me for a little help. So we're going to do it. So, yo, got my alter ego on, got my bling, got my bling on. Oh, yeah, going to keep my bling on for this whole video. I might keep my alter ego out this whole time, too. Let's get this rocking and rolling. Difference of perfect cubes. Everybody likes to talk about the difference of perfect cubes, yo. First thing you're going to do. Well, first thing you ought to do is decide this is X cubed. And this is 2 cubed. Then we copy over the sign. We change it. Last one's always positive. I know you're checking out my earring. X. And then 2 goes here. And then X squared goes here. Because that comes from this. And then 2 squared goes here. And then just the product of the 2 go in the middle, yo. Problem 1. That's bodied, man. Yeah, we bodied that problem. Oh, yeah. Flip it on this side. Looks cool, too. Oh, yeah. Didn't know you, you know your new teacher was so cool. Yeah. Mr. Krause. A cubed plus B cubed. Oh, you guys thought I was old. Until you saw the bling. Oh, yeah. So, what we're going to do. Copy over the sign. Change it. Last one's always positive. Right, yo? Put an A here. Put a B here. Wait, you just copying me, yo? Don't be copying me. Don't be copying me. Don't be copying me. Don't be copying me. Do it on your own. Do it on your own. Do it on your own. A squared goes here, yo. B squared goes here. And in the middle goes the product of the two. A, B. You know, sometimes I like to flap it back. Oh, got my flap back. My snap back. I don't even know if this is called a snap back. Snap black, slap black. Snap back, snap back. Oh, yeah. Mine looks good with my bling. New problem. A cubed plus... 27. Well, this is just 3 cubed. So this problem's easy. I'm going to body this quick. Binomial times a trinomial. Put the plus. Copy over that sign. Change it. Last one's always positive. Yo. Check out the bling. It's not my real bling. I couldn't find my real bling because I haven't worn my real bling in a long time. These two, shh, they go right here. A and 3. This thing squared goes here because they got to make A cubed. This thing goes here, but that's three, three squared, so that makes nine. Then you multiply the two of them, and you get 3A. Here's my answer, kids. Moving on. Got to erase. All right. It's bothering me. Got to get the bling out. Ow, 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 ow. Now I'll bring my race car. Now I'm going to be my race car. My alter ego race car driver. Okay, kids. Let's go. Uh, NASCAR, awesome. I like NASCAR. Oh, but this is Formula One. Yeah. Uh, here we go. What's the next problem? Um, 8x cubed minus 1. I'm not ready for this yet. Copy over the sign. Change it. Last one's always positive. But I'm not ready to do that yet. Got to take my hat off and get my glasses all messed up. This is 2x cubed. This one is 2x times 2 times 2 times 2 is 8x times x times x. This is just 1 cubed. So 2x and 1 go in here. 2x times 2x or 4x squared goes here and 1 goes at the end. The product of these two things goes in here, 2x. All right, the next one I'm going to do normal. Because no more alter ego, no more earring, no more bling. Just fun. Just math fun. We're going to have fun with just math. All right, here we go. Uh, next problem. 64y cubed plus 27. Now, this is 4y cubed. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. This is 3 cubed. I don't... Here come the signs. Binomial times a trinomial. I don't know why I'm writing in the middle. My big head's probably getting in the way. We're going to copy over the sign plus change it. Last one's always positive. The 4 and the 3 go here. No changes. Over here goes 
4y times 4y, or 16y squared. Here goes 9. And then in the middle, we just multiply them. 4 times 3 is 12, so it's 12y. That's it, kids. I'm going to move over to the, oops, I'm going to move over to the side here. I'm only going to do a couple more. Give me a short video. Here we go. This one is 8m cubed minus 125n cubed. Well, this is 2m cubed, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. m times m times m is m cubed. Minus 5n cubed, because 5n times 5n times 5n is 5, 125n cubed. Binomial times a trinomial. Copy over sign, change it, last one's always positive. So you just copy over the 2m and the 5n, they both go there. This thing goes here squared, so that's 2n times 2n or 4n squared, 4m squared. This one goes here squared, 5n times 5n is 25n squared. And then you just multiply the two of them to get the middle, 10mn. One more, kids. Then we get to some long division, because I know everybody likes long division. Is there anything better than long division? I was going to get this video late. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. 216x cubed minus plus 343. So this, believe it or not, is 6x cubed. And this one you better know, because we did it in class today, is 7 cubed. All right. Copy over the sign, plus, change it. The last one's always positive. 6x and 7 go in the beginning. In this one goes this squared, which is 36x squared. In this one goes this squared, 49. And in the middle goes the product of the two, 42x. That's it, kids. Bodied. All right, uh, let's erase. And now we're going to do a little long division. By the way, uh, you should probably try these on your own. Write this problem down and try it on your own. X minus 3. I'm going to get rid of this stuff on the top because I want to have lots of room. So, you like my blackboard? Is it nice? Is it cool? X minus 3 into... Oh, wow. That was almost straight. 2X to the 4th minus X cubed minus 14X squared minus 5X plus 6. Now, don't copy me. Try this on your own, kids. Try it. It's not that bad. Let me try a different color. I wonder if I can go a different color. Nope, going to stay with this. All right, it's like chalk color. Uh-oh, pen's dying. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out always what this goes into this. So x times 2x cubed. That gives me 2x to the fourth. So I'm going to multiply 2x to the fourth minus, now I multiply these two, 6x x cubed. Bring out my red pen just for a minute. Minus, and this becomes a plus. So when I add these up, I get 5x cubed minus 14x squared. I'm going to try to get a big red. And I'll try to get a big one. Let's see if that works. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is try to figure out what multiplies to x. What I got to multiply x by to get 5x cubed. And that's plus 5x squared. So 5x squared times x is 5x cubed. 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x squared. Go back to yellow. Subtract. This goes to a plus. This becomes x squared. Bring down the 5x, minus 5x. x times x, positive x, is x squared. So this becomes x squared minus 3x. Go back to the red. Subtract. Change this to a plus. 5x, my, negative 5x plus 3x is 2x. It's actually negative 2x. Bring down the 6. Now, if you screw up sign up, everything's going to be messed up. So i got to multiply x times negative 2 in order to get negative 2x. So negative 2x and negative 2 times positive, or negative 3 is positive 6. Bring back the yellow. When I subtract, 
This becomes a plus, this becomes a minus, and it subtracts out to zero. And there it is. One last problem, kids. Don't copy me. You should be trying these on your own. Then press record or play. Try them on your own. How are you doing? It's going to be an easy quiz tomorrow, kids. You should all knock out 100. All right. Uh, let me write this out. So the next one is 2x plus 5 divided into uh, 6x to the 4th minus x cubed minus 50x squared minus 13x plus 30. You should hit the pause button so you don't have to sit there and watch me do this and try it on your own. Pause, pause. Hit the subscribe button while you're paused. And then hit the donate button because I need a new computer. Actually, computers are pretty good lately. But I still need a new one. So we're going to multiply by 3x cubed because 3x cubed times 2x is 6x to the 4th. And 3x cubed times 5 is plus 15x cubed. We're going to subtract minus, minus, this makes 16x cubed minus 50x squared. Let me see I write it down right. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to multiply by negative 16x squared. Six, negative 16x, this should be a cube, by the way. Negative 16x squared times 2x. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Let me erase that. Got a brain fart, got a brain fart. This is negative 8. Yep. So negative 8 times neg positive 2 is negative 16x cubed. And negative 8 squared times 5 is po uh, negative 40x squared. The positive is coming. We're going to change it to plus. Subtracting, this becomes a plus. Those go away. This becomes a plus, and this becomes 10x squared. Bring down the minus 13x. Now I'm going to multiply 2x times positive 5x to get positive 10x squared. And 5x times positive 5 is, I did it again. I know I, I, I keep screwing this up. Let me, let me delete this. Let me just, hopefully you see the mistake I made. Um, the mistake I made is negative 50 plus 40 is negative 10. So what we're going to multiply through is by negative 5x. Negative 5x times positive 2 is negative 10x squared. And negative 5x times positive 5 is negative 25x. Bring out the yellow pen. I'm glad I caught that early. Minus. This is going to turn to plus. This is going to turn to plus. And we end up with 12x plus 30. 2x times 6 is 12x, so I put 12x here, and 6 times 5 is positive 30. Bring out the red pen, we're going to subtract, going to subtract, and I get 0 at the end. And that's it, kids. That's all she wrote. That's it. You can do that. You can bang out a knockout 100 out of tomorrow's test. Good luck. Study hard. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Comment. Tell me what you like about the bling. And uh, catch you on the flip side, homies.